Hey hackers, the coding kid here. Today we're going to look at how fractions may look to aliens. All numbers can be expressed as fractions. Humans use a numerator, fraction ball, and a denominator to express a fraction. But we can generate the symbols for fractions from the numbers in the fractions. This is a powerful idea that could be used by aliens. We're going to draw two wheels and turn the handles at a speed based on the numbers in the fraction. The speed of the top wheel will be based on the numerator and the speed of the bottom wheel will be based on the denominator. And then we'll draw a symbol using the position of the handles. Enough talking, let's get coding. All right, so I'm going to try and create this effect in 10 minutes. So let's start the timer in three, two, one, go. All right, so let's make the canvas a bit bigger, 800 by 800, and maybe make the background a really dark color maybe background 20 okay and then let's um, draw a circle and the circle can go from 200 200 and let's give it a diameter of 250 then let's remove the full and set the stroke color to white and set the stroke weight to maybe four should do it um, there we go. Yeah, four. All right. Now let's set the angle mode to degrees because I like to work in uh, degrees. Uh, and degrees, so we'll call angle mode with degrees in all the caps. All right. Now um, let's let's add a comment here. Top circle. Whoops. Top circle. All right. Then we can draw the handle. So the handle is another circle. And it will be at the cosine of millis, which is which is the number of milliseconds in starting the sketch, and it will be at the sine of, and the y value will be the sine of millis. And let's give it a diameter of maybe ten or twenty. All right, so it 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 is there, but we can't see it very well because it's not positioned correctly okay so um you know what let's create a variable called diameter the diameter diam diameter be assigned to 250 and in there we'll use 250 now we want to multiply the x and y values of the circle uh, by the radius and that's the diameter over 2 whoops over 2 and same thing for the y value okay nice um let's now it's still not positioned correctly because we have to add on the x value of the circle which is 200 and then let's add on the y value of the circle there we go now we have uh, our circle let's move it to a function so let's call it maybe draw circle draw circle function draw circle and then we'll call draw circle draw circle and um, cool now uh, let's maybe change the color of the the handle stroke let's set the stroke to yellow and the full to yellow cool now that is going fast um okay so let's add x and y values before we fix the speed so um the draw circle will, will accept two parameters x and y and then we'll 
replace the 200 200 in the larger circle with x and y and do the same for the smaller circle pool and then we'll have to call the draw circle with an x and y with x and y values there we go all right so um now we are uh, let's format this because it's getting really uh, that's a really really long line okay and um, now to fix the speed we can use the map function so I will map the Malise mod 1000 and mod will wrap Malise around when it gets to 1000 and I will map it from that will go from 0 to 1000 and the lower bounds will be 0 and the new upper bounds will be 360 a full circle now let's copy that line and change it to sim there we go and there's our rotating circle um now let's add a third okay actually before that let's add another circle and let's make it at 600 600 um okay and so now we can add speed let's add a third parameter called speed and the speed parameter we won't use it yet but let's create a variable called diameter or oh, sorry period let period be assigned to 1000 and the period is the time it takes for one revolution across the, the circle and in our case it's 1000 milliseconds let's say we change this to 2000 then it would go slower because it would take two seconds per revolution and if we divide that by speed as speed gets bigger period will get smaller and um that's what we want because if period gets smaller the circle will spin faster okay now let's call these circles with speeds whoa and that's going really really fast very very fast okay maybe make the period i don't know 800 or something um eight eight thousand what what did i do oh no eight thousand or yeah eight thousand divided by speed all right um next we can draw the lines so um what we want to do is get the handle position into the draw loop and the way we can do that is let's create a variable called pause and the pause will store the position of the handle um yeah and the po pause is a javascript um json object um and there we go there's our pause and replace this with pause.x pause.y and keep the diameter of 20. all right maybe format it a bit there we go now um so now we can draw lines if we return pause return pause will allow us to do this let handle 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 one did i spell handle right i'm not even sure anyway um handle one be assigned to draw circle and handle one will contain that position and we can do the same thing for the second circle so handle one will contain that position and handle two one will contain that position okay let's change the comment bottom circle 
now we can draw the lines and oh no we only have one minute 10 seconds left so we have to hurry up uh from handle one's x position and handle one's y position and handle two's x position and handle one y position all right and the same thing will happen but for we should do the same thing but the first point in the line will be the handles two handle two position handle two's position all right okay so now let's draw a circle at that point a circle at there let's give it a diameter of 20 all right now we'll create an array of trail which will store that third circle's position and can we do this whole thing in 20 seconds and so it's an array and then we'll push trail dot push whoops trail dot push and we'll push another json object with an x of handle one or handle two's x and handle one oh it was really close but uh we didn't make it it was really really close though oh okay well bad luck um okay and then so now we've pushed that position into the trail and the trail will, will contain all the positions of that third circle or point okay uh now let's say trail trail dot for each um i uh no rather point equals greater than and that can be so let's draw a circle at point dot x point dot y and let's give it a diameter of five maybe and there is our alien fraction all right that is the alien representation of three over one all right now let's try um a rough a fraction which is roughly equivalent to pi 22 over 7. okay whoa that's drawing way too fast and there are really big gaps between the dots i think we could fix that with the uh, by using a line and a previous dot so we'll draw a line from the previous dot's position to the current dot's position. Uh, proof point is assigned to trail of zero. Make sure you have that after you're pushing into trail. And then um, we'll draw a line um, instead of a circle. And the line will be from proof points x, proof point dot x, proof point dot y, and point dot x. All right, remember to, actually that's a really cool effect, but remember to assign proof point to point and then we'll get 22 over seven. There is 22 over seven to an alien. All right, um, next we can draw the human version. Um, but before that, let's, um, let let's create a variable called let um numerator and that will be the numerator uh let's change the numerator to maybe three and let's also create a denominator denominator and make that one all right um and then we'll replace 22 with numerator and seven word denominator okay now uh, let's draw the human text so the human text will be a text so call the text function and the first parameter will be numerator and let's draw that at 200 600 there we go there's our small tiny text and let's actually make that much bigger let's say text size 100 whoops dot 1100 and it's not perfectly aligned so um if we call text align with center in all caps center and twice so the first parameter center and second parameter center then we can align that three to the center 
all right and then we can call text the denominator now they're on top of each other so let's ch change the y value of the top circle to 550 and let's change the y value of the bottom circle to five 650 all right there we go now we can draw a line and that will be uh, the fraction divider fraction separator whatever you call it and that line will go from 200 600 200 600 there we go that's tiny dot um can't really see it very well let's make it go from 150 to 250 on the x value yes much better and maybe 590 for the y value does that work yes all right cool all right so let's go back to the website uh it's called tronic64.com i'll put a link to it in the description below and then you'll go to the alien fractions project and click the more info button and then click alien fractions and here are some examples of alien fractions so one over one is a perfect circle and here's one over two and fun fact aliens don't have to simplify fractions so let's say you were going to draw two over four um you would still get the same symbol and so and let's say you wanted to draw four over eight you would still get the same symbol anyway there are other fractions here we drew 22 over seven and here's three over four i think that looks pretty cool so if an alien points to the symbol and then points to your pizza you should give him three quarters of your pizza all right i think that's it for this video happy coding and please like and subscribe